Hello everyone, welcome to my first tutorial on YouTube. Today, I'm going to show you how to create a dynamic island with a liquid effect in Figma. Let's get started. I will start from scratch, and let me remove everything to begin fresh. I'll be reusing my UI elements here, but you can use your own as well. Let's start with the frame. Let's create an iPhone mobile frame. Now, I'll draw the dynamic island. I'll make it 370 by 75 pixels and center it. I will make it black and I'll set the corner radius to 100 to give it those smooth, rounded iOS edges. Now let's apply a smooth blur to create soft edges. This will give us the base for our liquid effect. I will apply a blur layer and set the value to 25. With the island in place, we'll add the rectangles that will create the liquid effect. First, draw a gray rectangle on top of the elements where you want the effect. Set the blend mode to color dodge. Next, draw another rectangle in black, again placing it above the elements, and set its blend mode to color burn. Lock these rectangles in place to avoid accidental changes. Duplicate the dynamic island you created earlier and scale it down slightly. This smaller version will act as the modal. Now add your UI elements to the screen. Let me add some details such as the arrow and a label here. Now I'll duplicate the frame. In the second frame, let's change the width of these buttons to be outside the frame. Let's move these elements to the bottom. Let's move the smaller island that we made earlier to the center. Let's make it like this. Let's set the corner to 48 pixels. Let's move the arrow to the center and set its opacity to zero. And also let's move the label to the bottom. Adjust the width of the elements in the dynamic island like this. Let's add the elements of the second screen and move them to appear like this. Let's fix this. It's time to switch to prototype mode now. I will add a click interaction to these elements to navigate the second screen with smart transition animation. Also, for these elements, I will add drag interaction with smart animation and link it to the second screen. Now let's go to the second one and repeat the drag interaction with smart animation. Add click interaction to the close icon with smart animation as well. Now let's see our result and test it out. As you see, the liquid effect is working perfectly, but the second screen's elements not moving smoothly. How do we fix that? Let's copy the elements and paste them into the first screen. Scale them down like this. Make the height zero and the width zero. Move them to the top center. Let's try out again. It's working perfectly. I hope you like it. That's it. Thank you for watching. If you want to share your work, feel free to do so and let me know your results. I will be happy to have you on my LinkedIn and X accounts. See you.